Hello, welcome to I Love Science. In this video, we will be doing activities to test different nutrients in food. You can test nutrients like carbohydrates, which can be either glucose or starch. You can test proteins or you can test fats. Okay. So let's start these. So for testing purpose, we have collected these food items. Uh, we have potato, some fruit like apple, uh, paneer, peanuts, mustard seeds, bread, some fruity. Uh, we also have taken some glucose powder to test the glucose properly. Okay. And we will need different chemicals which are part of your kit. And these chemicals are copper sulfate solution, uh, caustic soda solution, iodine and Benedict's reagent. Okay. Now all these bottles which you have in your kit are sealed so that they do not leak in the transportation. So before you start using them, you have to tighten them completely okay, so that it will do two things. Number one, after this, if you open it, it will remove the seal and you can open it. And also the process of tightening will make a hole in this nozzle so that you are able to use these chemicals. So we will start with the glucose testing for which we will use one piece of apple. We will use some fruit juice like this mango juice fruity. And we will also test the actual glucose and then see which one uh, comes out better. In the, in the so first we are making very small pieces of this apple so that it's easy to extract the juice of the apple so that we can test if it has glucose. Okay. So we have made very small pieces of this uh, apple. Uh, we will just try to crush it a little bit okay, like this so that its juice comes out. Right. And now we will add a little bit of water so that it's easier to test it and put this whole solution in the test tube. We are taking two more test tubes and in these test tubes we will put some glucose powder and add some water and in another test tube we will take some fruity juice. So you see that for our testing we have prepared three test tubes. This one has some apple. We have crushed the apple and added some water into this. Uh, this one has a fruity mango juice and this one has pure glucose powder and we have added some water. Uh, we will dissolve this. So now this is has been dissolved. Now so for testing purpose we are taking the Benedict's reagent and we will add about 10 to 15 drops in each test tube. Now we have to keep these test tubes in hot water. So we have taken hot water into a glass. Uh, this is very hot water and we have to dip uh, after mixing a little bit. We have to dip these test tubes. So we, we have just shaken the test tube so that the Benedict's reagent mixes with the solution. Okay. And now we have kept these in hot water. So it has been about 7 to 8 minutes and we dipped these test tubes in hot water and now you can see that they have changed color. So this is the one where we had put uh, you know apple juice of fresh apple and you can see that it has become a little orange color now. Okay. Uh, this one was pure glucose so it is uh, orange but more red a little bit more red and this was uh, fruity uh, mango juice and you can see that this is also in between. So you can see that in all the cases uh, in these uh, samples they had different amounts of glucose so that is why their color shades have changed. A darker shade of uh, orange or red indicates that there is more glucose in that sample. So this is how you can test the that any food sample contains glucose or not. Now next we will test starch in our food samples. For testing starch, we will need the iodine solution. Uh, iodine solution is light, very light brown in color. And when you put the iodine solution on any food sample, then uh, if it contains a starch, then the food sample will turn dark blue or black. Okay. So let's see if we, we will start with bread. Uh, bread contains the wheat flour. And when we put a few drops, you will see that it instantly turns into dark blue or black. Okay, let's try this on potato. So 
So potato uh, also turns uh, you know uh, blackish, but it will take some time. So so let's put a few more drops on this, and then we will wait for some time. Okay. So you will see that it has started turning uh, blackish. Okay. I will also try this on paneer, and then let's see what happens. Okay. Now if you wait for some time, you will see that on the bread it instantly became blackish. On potato, it is turning black, you know, where we put the uh, iodine solution. But on paneer, there is no effect. It is light, yellow or light brown, which is the color of the iodine solution. That means paneer does not contain starch, but potato and bread contain starch. So this is a simple test to see if our food samples contain starch. Next, we will do the testing for proteins. So for protein testing, in one container, we have taken some basin. Now you know that basin is made from the chana dal and all the pulses or dals contain protein. Okay. We are also going to test with paneer because paneer also contains protein. So we will take a small piece, put it in the container and then using the spoon mash it a little bit okay. and then add some water to mix it well. Okay. Now in both the samples we will put some water. and uh, mix it well with the stirrer. So for testing, first we will put copper sulfate solution. Add only a few drops like two or three drops of copper sulfate solution in both of them. And after that, we have to put about 10 drops of caustic soda solution. And now we will mix them and if our food sample contains uh, protein, then the solution should turn purple or violet. So you can see instantly after putting these solutions, the paneer has clearly become a purple color. Okay. So I think let's see it in the white background so that you can see it clearly that it has become purple color, right? And if you look at the basin solution, this has also become slightly purple, uh, but because basin was already yellow, the, the, so the purple color is not very clearly vis visible. But when you do, you will see that it turns into purple color. Okay. So this is a simple solution to see the presence of protein. And now finally, we will do the testing of foods containing fats. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, this is a very simple uh, test where if the food containing fats, uh, you know, if you put it in brown paper or any paper and then let it soak inside the paper, then the paper becomes translucent. Now this is different from water because the, if you put some water, then also it will become translucent, but the water will evaporate and then it will become normal. But if it is some fat, then it will become translucent permanently. Okay. So let's do some testing. And for this, we are using two samples peanuts and some mustard seeds. Okay, so let's do this. So we will take a sample of a peanut, put it inside the paper and then crush it. So first I will crush it using a hammer. Okay. And maybe I have to, I think it has not extracted the oil properly. So let me just press it harder using a plier strongly. So let me just press it very hard and then you will see that the fat or the oil from the peanut will come out and it will, the paper will become translucent that you can see. Now this is very similar to the effect that you must have seen that if you buy some thing like samosa or pakode and then get it from the shop in a paper bag, then the paper bag becomes like this because the oil or ghee in which they are fried it gets absorbed in the paper. Now this is the simplest test to see if the food contains fat. Okay, We can do the similar test on mustard seeds also. And as you know that mustard seeds, uh, you know, we, we extract the mustard seed, mustard oil or sarso ka tel from these seeds. So again, I will do the same experiment. Okay, uh, Using a hammer, I will crush them. Okay. And just to crush them even harder, I will use a plier so that I can apply harder force and then crush them like this. 
okay and then you will see that immediately the oil or the fat from mustard seeds comes out which stains the paper and the paper becomes translucent so this is the simple test to see that if the food contains any fat so these were all the tests uh, which you can do in the classroom to see if our food samples contain these nutrients like uh, carbohydrates protein or fat all the material for these tests is provided in our kit you only have to arrange some food items which cannot be given in the kit like uh, paneer or fresh fruits etc remaining everything is there so i hope all the teachers and students will enjoy these experiments and learn a lot from i love science thank you bye bye